Uh, my name is Mike, uh, I'm 37 and I'm a comedy impressionist. My day job, uh, I'm a driving instructor, believe it or not. I perform um, sporadically, mainly just to my pupils in the car that I teach to drive on a one-to-one -one basis. And it's not just his pupils who would love to see Mike fulfil his dreams. My dad um, used to perform on the Northern Club circuit. He's a very good um, comedian and when I've watched him, particularly as a kid and a teenager, I've picked up a few good habits from him. Very talented man. Fortunately, he doesn't do any Monarch now because he's, he's got on a little bit and he's got Parkinson's. I, I guess I'd like to do it for my dad, really. Make him proud. Yeah. Hi there. Hi there. What's your name? It's Mike. What is your talent? I am a comedy impressionist. OK. How long have you done that? Um, I think I first started doing impressions when I was at school, so it's a good few years. What was your sort of inspiration for all this? Uh, my dad, he used to be a um, very popular comedy, uh, comedian, singer. He used to do the clubland circuit, um, but he's getting on a bit now. He can't do it anymore now. Well, he's retired, is he? Or... He's, he's got Parkinson's, so he, he can't do it anymore. So what, what would it mean to, you, to him, do you think, if you were to make it to the Royal Variety Show? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'd, I'd like to see his reaction. I'd like to see Do his you reaction. feel like, in a funny way, you're sort of carrying his, his baton? His mantle, if you like, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd like to think so. It would be good. Right. Good luck. OK. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Chris Tarrant, and welcome back to Who Wants City. <laughs> Welcome back to Who Wants To Be A Millionaire, where contestant, well, contestant David Beckham is currently on £100. <laughs> he's used two lifelines. <laughs> and he's about to use his third lifeline, his phone a friend. <laughs> so, David, who are we going to ring? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a pretty tricky question, so... I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll ring Tony Blair. Um, hi, Prime Minister Teddy Blair here, of yes, course. He looks oh. like Tony Blair when he's on the phone. Currently Prime Minister, of course. Um, how can I help? Uh, right, well, the question is, who is currently the Prime Minister? <laughs> is it A, Tony Blair, B, Lionel Blair, <laughs> C, the Blair Witch Project, <laughs> Or D, Del Boy Trotter from Only Fools and Horses? Uh, but I, I didn't think you did my help, David. I think the answer's pretty much staring you in the face. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's D, Del Boy Trotter from Only <laughs> Fools and Horses. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, we sit here through hour after hour of often very mediocre stuff, I'll be honest with you, which can be quite soul-destroying, and then we just occasionally chat and say, wouldn't it be great if some guy just came on stage and blew us away? And you just blew us away. I really did think you, you were very good, and I think you could give John Coleshaw a run for his money. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, Mike, uh, one of the best impressionists I've ever heard. Really. I thought it was very funny, um, which is tough. I've got to tell you, Mike, I think your dad would be very proud of you. OK. Here's yes or no. Yes. Yeah, really yeah. sweet. My father used to do this on the club circuit. He's never made it onto television. Just the thought of him being able to perhaps watch me on television is just, just waiting to see his reaction. I'm sure he'll be chipped to bits, really will be. And 
another day of auditions has come to a close, and as the audience heads home, it seems that Mike's left a lasting impression on the judges. I like it on a show like this when you see normal people who don't do this full time who put together a decent act and it works. I prefer that. And actually, funny enough, I could see him on the Royal Variety. I genuinely could. And I could see him stealing the show, funny enough, from all the pros.